In this video, I'm going to talk about web files. So what are web files within Power Pages? So web file is basically a physical file, uh, which is a downloadable file in a website. It can consist of a uh, different format, uh, namely images, documents, CSS, zip file, etc. Now, where do we use web file? Now, web files can be used to render a content within a web page. It can be used to allow a user to download a content. Uh, it also it is also used basically to uh, act as a supporting image for your website. So if your website has a bunch of CSS or, or a zip file or a JS file or an image file, those all things can be stored in web files. <clears throat> now the web files section allow you to upload web related files which can be referenced in your power pages site now some of the extensions are css scss png jpeg pdf and many more so you can upload basically any type of file within web files uh, let's go into the demo so uh, if you see, uh, this is a Power Pages site, which I have created. So this site basically does not have anything much. Uh, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to the design studio and uh, maybe uh, first what I'll do is like, I'll just add something over here. First, let me get rid of this image. Okay, I'll just get rid of this image and I'm going to add an image. Now, if I click on image, it will prompt me to select from a media library. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to uh, upload an image from my machine. So if I click on upload image, and if I select a test image too, okay. And if I uh, say open, then technically what it has done is it has uh, uploaded this test image too, to be made available uh, to be used in my website now where does this image get stored okay now if i click on ok i can see this image is now uh like say rendered in my web page okay let me uh <clears throat> basically align this to center and uh let me save this so this is saved now and now i'll sync this up okay just to see how it uh looks in the uh, in the website Okay, so once it is synced, uh, maybe I'll try to uh, refresh this page. Let me refresh this page and see how it looks now. Now, this is how it looks. Now, but where does this image get stored in the back end? Okay, now if I go in the back end, let me go into this Power Pages Management portal. Now, how you can navigate to this portal is you can go into your designer and then go to portal management and that will take you to this particular uh, model driven app now under model driven app under content i can go into web files and here in web files i can uh, search for the image which i have recently uploaded now the image which i have recently uploaded uh, you can see over here that say if i click here test image 2 okay now this is the image which i have uh, recently uploaded Okay, and that's why you see over here. Now, what essentially it has done, it has uploaded in the backend web file document uh, library, I'd say. It's not a document library, but it's like a uh, it's like a record which has uh, an inline content of that image. Okay, now this is that actual image, and it pre-populated some information because it is coming from this site, neon site. It has populated the website as this parent page as uh, like the the page which is currently for my website and the partial url it is taken the same name okay now uh if you see here content disposition it is inline okay now what does it mean it means that any image uh, uh for this particular record should be displayed as it is as you see over here now there are other uh, techniques through which we can make this available make this image uh to be uh, to be made downloadable okay so i'll give you an example of this but before we go to that i will show you a manual approach okay to how to upload a web file now if i click on new i can uh, type in whatever name i want so let's say uh, i'll name this as imgpa 
Okay. And for which website? I want it for the Neon website. Uh, parent page, it's, that's fine. You, if you don't upload, if you don't put, that's fine. You know, uh, I'll just select my website. Partial URL. Let me put IMGA as a partial URL. Uh, and then I save this record. But before we save this record, I need to put this publishing state as a, either draft or publish. I'll put it as published. This is very important because if you don't put this, your images will not be visible. I save this record. And once I save this record, I will get a prompt to upload the file. So if I click on choose file content, then here I can select whatever image I want. So let me upload this test image four. Once I upload that, it will uh, save this record and then I can use this image in my website. So this is a manual way to upload an image. Okay. Now I, I showed you two things. One is I uploaded the image using the designer. So it went into this uh, location, uh, which was test image two and for test image four, Basically, what I have done is I have uh, uploaded this uh, image in the back end and then uh, I can use this for uh, my website design purpose. So there are two different ways through which we can use the web files. Now, what if I want uh, this image to be just uh, allowing people to just download from here, you know, then what I can do? So let's do one thing first go into the target image what you want people to download and not just view it okay so let's say this is that imga okay now here you see this parameter called as content disposition if i make it as attachment okay and i save this record okay if i make this as attachment and i save this record then uh, what I can do is I can uh, go into my designer and let me add a spacer just to show you the uh, section, okay? Uh, and then I will just put it below it, okay? So I just save this uh, thing. Now this is already saved. Let me go into the back end. I go into the edit code. It will open Visual Studio code. Now here, uh, let me grab this name, IMGA okay now this is that name imga okay this is a partial url what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a ahref and then i will put slash imga okay and i will put a link as uh, download here okay. and i'll just save this uh, how do I say? Control S. The moment I do Control S, this dot will disappear after a while. Uh, I think there's some error. It is asking me to overwrite. Let me overwrite this. Yes, it is overwritten here. Now I go to Design Studio. I'll sync this. Once I sync my change, and I can preview the page. Now here, if I preview the page, I should see uh, one hyperlink called as download here. And the moment I click on it, it will allow me to download the file. So uh, that's all about uh, showing you how to make use of the web files. Uh, it, the, the benefit of using web file is, you know, one is you will be able to attach an image as an inline component, or maybe you can make use of uh, a hyperlink to download some documents. Now here I have uh, made use of a JPG document, but then you can use PDF for your website. So if your website has say company brochures or some profile information, you can show that using this hyperlink. Thanks for watching.